From the News Channel 5 Network, this is On The Line. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Open Line. Tonight, we are talking about veterans and Tennessee state veterans' homes. A new state veteran home has opened up. We're going to show pictures of that, talk about it, and we are happy to have with us the commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Veterans Affairs, uh, Manny Bears Grinder. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. And also the executive director of Tennessee State Veterans Homes, Ed Harries. Ed, thank you also for being You're with welcome. us. So we have more than half a million, over 500,000 veterans in the state of Tennessee. There is the, the concept of Tennessee State Veterans Homes. They were started a few years ago in the 90s, I believe. Mm -hmm. We've just opened a new one. Tell us about that. Where is this new one and kind of w at what stage are we? And I'll start with you, Commissioner. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you for having us on. We're very excited about this home. And um, this home is in Clarksville, Tennessee. Now, um, in Clarksville is our largest concentration of veterans in the state. So um, a very good and fitting place to have this home. And um, you asked what stage we're in? Well, we just cut the ribbon a couple weeks ago. So we are in the stage of, uh, we've got four, four residents, residents that are four there Four residents, now. okay. And um, as we, we get additional certifications, we'll be bringing more residents on. And what about a brief sort of overview, the history of, of these um, homes, the Tennessee State Veterans Homes, uh, Ed, what, what, what about the, you know, when did they start and how many do we have, that kind of thing? Well, like you said, in the early 90s, uh, the Murfreesboro building started, it's a 140 bed building. Um, after that one, the Humboldt building started up. Uh, that one was about four years later. And then just in 2007, we opened up our Knoxville building. And again, that one's 140 beds. The Clarksville building's a little bit smaller because it addresses the size of the community and also the size of the lot that we had. Right, and and there's some other new <coughs> things about the Clarksville facility. What's what's kind of new about it? And yeah, I'll ask you that. Everything. <laughs> um, okay, good. <coughs> this is the first home in Tennessee that's built under the new design, and the new design, instead of one large institutional type building, um, it's a series of houses. Each house holds twelve residents. Each house is part of a duplex. All the duplexes are connected by corridors. And um, there's a beautiful main entrance with um, a gorgeous big fireplace and big aquarium that is very welcoming. There's a bistro there where the residents can go any time of the day or evening to enjoy a refreshment or visit with, with their friends. Um, each of the houses has its own fireplace and kitchen, and each has its own design, so that if a veteran should get confused going back to their house, they could say, oh, wait a minute, my fireplace doesn't look quite like that. Mm -hmm. um, and they each have a different theme to them. So it's a, a cottage type look, and each has um, a place where they can go outside and enjoy uh, the outdoors as well. So uh, how would you, how would you, get into this new facility? What's the waiting list? When when will it be filled? And, and so if there's someone out there saying this sounds perfect for my loved one or for me, how, wh what do they do? Well, the best thing to do is give us a call. That's the simplest way, just to contact the building or you can go to www.tsvh.org and we have links to that facility and all the others on there as well. Uh, getting in, uh, key factors, you're a veteran if be dis, uh, discharged honorably, and you have to be related to the state of Tennessee in some way. You can either be born in the state of Tennessee, you can be have been deployed or entered the military in Tennessee. If you have a family member in Tennessee, you can also, uh, if you're from out of state, be in our facility. And then we also have room for spouses and widows of veterans and uh, Gold Star parents as well. And what has the demand been since we opened these in 1993, what, what kind of demand have you seen? <clears throat> the average nursing home in the state of Tennessee operates at about 78% capacity. We operate regularly at 94 plus. 
So the demand is huge, and that's caused by two reasons. One is the concentration of vet veterans in the areas that we're in, but also the high quality and all the things we do. Uh, we're very, very different than what you would imagine a nursing home will do. Okay, um, and and so very different, and and huge demand. Mm -hmm. And um, can you keep up with the demand? I know we want to build more, yes. but are we able to keep up with the demand, or kind of where where, where are we going in the future? And you can both take that, or you know, where where are we headed? Well, okay. um, we've developed a master plan, and um, this master plan goes out, and it we're we're looking at where the next um, homes should be built. In fact, we're um, in the design phase for one in uh, Cleveland, Tennessee, and um, working for one in Shelby County in, in Arlington. After that, it's going to be the Tri-Cities area. So, um, of course, there's, there's a lot of things that's considered in where to place a home. Obviously, veteran population is, is key in that. Where are all the other existing homes is, is also key. Um, what is available in these surrounding areas for for the veterans? So um, you know, there's there's a lot of research mm -hmm. that goes behind the scenes before before we ever get to that point. And who pays for it? How how is it funded? How is it built? Who pays for a, a new home like the one we're seeing in Clarksville? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, from, a, from a payment standpoint, uh, we use a VA grant, which covers 65% of the cost, as long as the state or local community can come up with the other 35%. Uh, so that pretty much gets you your grant to go ahead. The problem you have is we have to wait till the VA money is available to get to do the construction, and that causes our homes to stretch out. We plan them like Clarksville was planned in 2004 and hit the table. We're just opening it now because wow. of all of these delays and waiting in line with all the other states and waiting for the money to become available from the VA to go ahead and do it. So it takes quite a while. It's quite a project to make happen, but we're getting pretty good at it. Yeah. And other states do this? Yes. Every other state has a veteran's home. And what, is, what else did you want to Not add? all no. other states have veterans <clears throat> homes, and in fact, that is sometimes how we've been pushed back on the priority list, because there <clears throat> might be a state um, that doesn't have a home, they're just now putting their application in, so they're going to be a higher priority than Tennessee. And, and so we, as a state or local community, have to come up with 35 percent. That's right. Federal government, 65 percent. Is it hard getting that? That 35 percent. How difficult has that been, either from the state or the local community? Well, um, so far, the the commitment of the communities where we have these homes has been tremendous, and so we have seen not only commitments from the the city and the county, but um, also from individual donors as well. And some of the greatest things that we've seen have been, you know, grassroots efforts where, you know, kids are giving their nickels and dimes and, and quarters. And that's the kind of commitment that means so much because then you know that not only is this community going to support this home as we're trying to build it, but once it's built and those residents are in there, this community is going to go and visit those veterans. They're going to um, create events for them to attend. They're going to um, bring entertainment to the homes. They're going to do volunteer projects there. And that's the kind of commitment that is so important in making the difference between this being just a nursing home and a place that these veterans can truly call their home. And going forward, is, is there state funding that comes to it or federal funding? Or how, does it, um, how is it funded once it's built? How does that money work? And Ed, I'll give you that one. Once it's built, uh, we are mandated to be completely financially self-sufficient from the state. Uh, we don't take any money from the state budget for operating. Uh, the only money that is taken on from the state budget is related to construction itself. So we uh, bill Medicare, Medicaid, private assurances, of course the VA has their programs, and with that we take that and make it all work. And so we don't have to go to the budget every year and say, you know, we need this amount of money. We, we survive on our own. And we've been doing that quite well for the past five, six years. All right, great. All right, we are going to take a break. If you are on the line, hold on, Greg and others. If you want to call, go ahead and call right now, 615-737-PLUS, 615-737-7587. Talking <coughs> about Tennessee State Veterans Homes. Take a break. Be back right after this.